Well, Spring Hill Auto Workers still waiting on word from their union bosses about when they might join the nationwide strike against the big three Detroit automakers. The waiting, though, leaves the massive mid-state assembly line in a state of limbo of sorts. News Channel 5's Chris Davis got a rare chance to interview the Spring Hill plant manager who hopes a deal will be struck soon. So, so far, you know, we've been in, in really good shape. It's technically still business as usual at the GM plant in Spring Hill, even if it doesn't feel that way. There's a lot of discussion that's happening up north in the negotiations, and really that's really where that focus really needs to be. Part of the national UAW strategy has been to keep everyone in the dark about which plants are striking next, including their own workers. It's uh, tense every Friday, right? Because we just don't know what's going to happen. Which is why John Rutherford, the local UAW chapter president, says even though Spring Hill hasn't been invited to the picket line yet, they stand willing and able. So we're trying to get some stuff back we lost. Of course, Anton Biusatil, the Spring Hill plant manager, argues GM already has a good deal in front of the union. We've uh, put out our most generous offer we've ever put out for the UAW. And what's on the table right now are historic wage gains, job security focus, you know, maintaining the, the, the great health care that we provide for our employees. And that some of the profit GM is currently enjoying has to go towards funding innovation. Quite honestly, if we don't reinvest in the company, really we won't have as, uh, the future that we would all desire. If a deal isn't reached soon, Spring Hill could shut down anyway because of other striking plants that may limit the parts they need to assemble their cars. There's some uh, work stoppages that would be inevitable that we would have to stop production. Despite the differences, perhaps the one thing both respective leaders can agree on. If we were called upon to have a strike, we would have to pause operations. Is that they're longing for the day they can truly get back to business as usual. We don't want to strike, but if we have to, we have to. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And uh, Spring Hill workers could join the strike as early as this Friday. They tell us we'll all find out the same time they do.